Welcome back to Core Fishing guys, I'm your host Joe and today I'm going to make a video on how I fish jerk baits for striped bass. Right now the striped bass are in full run. They are in full spring spawning mode and they are running up the California delts right now and a lot of people are targeting with jerk baits. There are two jerk baits that I like to throw. The first one is a Lucky Craft Pointer 100 and the second one is a Duo Realis 120. Now I throw both of them for different situations so I'm going to go over why I throw them. The first one is the Lucky Craft Pointer. This jerkbait's been around for a long time. This jerkbait is not like the Duo Realis. This jerkbait is a super wide wobble, super loud, erratic action jerkbait. And the opposite is true for the Duo Realis. The Duo Realis makes some noise, but it's more of a finesse jerkbait in my opinion. It does have a wide wobble, but it doesn't nearly make as much sound as the Lucky Craft Pointer. I throw both of them, it just depends on the day. Sometimes they want the Duo, sometimes they want the Lucky Craft. I carry both of them because they're both different jerk baits. Now for the setup, I think the setup is probably the most important part of fishing jerk baits. I like fishing a seven foot two medium uh, casting rod. I don't like a medium heavy. I like using a medium power rod because jerk baits, if you look at them, have a lot of treble hooks. And these treble hooks can come out very, very easily with even just the slightest amount of pressure. So I like using a medium power rod because you have to fight these fish out. If you try to horse a fish in on a jerk bait, it will absolutely come off like 90% of the time. You have to play the fish out. So this is a seven foot two Akuma Psycho Stick casting rod. And this is a Akuma Hakai uh, six speed uh, reel with I think 12 pound mono line. I like using mono line for jerk baits because mono has a little bit of stretch in it. And when you're trying to fight these striper and they make a last minute surge, the mono helps absorb some of that shock and it, the fish won't come unpinned a lot of the times. In this video, you're going to see me doing some recent California Delta fishing, and I'm going to voice over some of the parts so I show you how I work the jerk bait and how I think it's best to use the jerk bait. Remember, as always, if you like the video, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. In this first clip, I want you to notice the action that I'm using my jerk bait. I do a twitch, twitch pause, which means I snap my rod two times and give it a quick pause in between. This is the action I use about 90% of the time I'm fishing a jerk bait. It works really good. As you can see, it triggered this striper to bite. I do this twitch, twitch pause motion a lot. It works. I think it's super effective. And a lot of times the fish bite on the pause. As I fight this engine, I'm taking my time because they are triple hooks and they come out really easy. And then I catch this nice striper and the worst part of fishing a jerkbait comes and that is dealing with uh, the treble hooks, especially stripers that are shakers like this. As you can see, the striper is just going like crazy and it's just shaking on the floor. The safest way to do it with this fish is grab a pair of pliers. Don't use your fingers. You could easily get hooked and try to shake the fish off with the pliers. If you've ever taken a jerkbait out of a striper before, you know how much of a pain it is, but you can't deny that the jerkbait works really good. So I'm trying to take my time because I don't want to get a hook in my finger and get the hook out of this striper. Definitely take your time and have a pair of pliers because this is dangerous. Fish keeps shaking around. And then eventually I get it and I'm able to shake the fish off over the boat without even putting my hands on the fish. Safely released. In this next clip, I want you to notice how I continue to work the jerk bait back and forth, back and forth. And what you're going to notice is I actually missed the first bite that the striper makes. And I continue to work the bait because second and third strikes are very, very common, especially with stripers and uh, largemouth bass. So I keep working and I hook it. This happens a lot with the schoolie size strappers. A lot of times they'll hit it the first time, miss it, and they'll come back and get it. They really want to hunt this bait down. Again, once again, not a huge striper, another shaker striper, but important and safe to know. Take your time. Use a pair of pliers. Don't use your fingers. I don't know how people use their fingers. This is dangerous. There's so many hooks there. Um, and just shake the fish off. I missed the first time, and then I'm able to shake the fish off the second time. Shake and release. From here on out, you're just going to see me fish the jerk bait a little bit, catch some fish. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Yeah. I was like, what's the name? Apple? He's out of Alamut. There's one. Nice. Just like I was saying. Yep. <laughs> if I was a fish, I'd be right behind that eddy. Yep. Ooh, ooh, fish on, guys. 
Get the biggest one so far. Yeah, this one I actually might need a net for, but uh, I hate using a net with the jerk bait. <laughs> uh, you look good. Keeper. Oh, that's a keeper. I don't need to measure it. No, that's a keeper. Check out that fish, guys. Nice one. That's probably like a 18, 20 inch on that dual realis. 120. Killing it. Answer? You know what I mean? That's how I was like, oh, that's a fair enough answer. Like, like I'll take it. I was like, close enough. Oh, ooh, got one. There you go. Right where it's supposed to be. Right where it's supposed to be. Uh, it kind of came to the surface. Might be a bass. <laughs> Fish on, guys. Right where it's supposed to be. Ooh. I don't even know how this fish is fighting. Is it a bass? Uh, I don't know. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, it's too dry. Hey, babe, I'm finding a fish right now. Oh, okay. I was going to say you didn't eat the fried rice. Oh, no, I didn't. I just cooked green rice. Okay, love you. I'll be home later, okay? Yep, bye. Okay, bye. Oh, what the heck is this? Oh, it's a striper. Ooh, another keeper one. I have no idea. Three. Yeah. Another one, guys. Yeah, it's a keeper for sure. All right, going for the boat flip. Ooh, dang, I don't know about that. Never mind. Think twice, guys. I think twice about that boat flip. Oh, I should let more line out. Oh, good. I don't know. Oh, you're at 9.2 feet. Look at that, guys. Another nice one on that uh, Duo 120. Killing it. In this last clip, it's not a jerkbait fish. It's a topwater fish, but topwater is my favorite, so I decided to put it in. Look at that, my buddy Charlie's on. All right, Charlie, I'm filming you. Charlie's on. Good one. That's a, that's a shaker. That's a that's a schoolie. <laughs> Look at that. Solid one. That's like 20 to 22 inches at least. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. That's a good one. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, guys, remember if you like the video, do me a favor, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel.